Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the most sought after e-bikes of the year. They're always coming out with new e-bikes, and so in today's video, I brought the best ones to you. So we're gonna go over each one really quick, rapid fire. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna get right into it. Before I do, I just want you to know that every one of the e-bikes that I cover in today's video, I have individual full reviews. So if you wanna see riding scenes, you wanna know more about specs, any of that stuff, make sure you click our channel name, subscribe, and check out the videos on each of these e-bikes. I'm gonna put links to all these, so if you wanna to go to the brand website as well to get more information, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Those will be down in the description section and the top comment of this video now let's get right into it again this is going to be rapid fire overview so it's not going to be real detailed but i'm going to tell you what the best feature of each of these e-bikes is and why they are so sought after first one here mock wheel slate very popular design it is a foldable e-bike it's got long range it's got really good speed adjustable handlebars which is really nice and it has an adjustable seat as well, back rack. And what makes this extra special and what sets it above all of the other foldable e-bikes is this right here. Guess what? Security features. This is the panel. Now there's nothing here. Nobody can steal it. You have the panel itself. You stick this in your pocket. Peace of mind, security feature. I've never seen that in an e-bike. That's what puts this on the list. Let's see what's next. All right, next up is the Keolor Tiger. Now this is where we get into those custom e-bikes. As you can tell, it's very popular because of the old motorcycle style look and it's got a very comfortable seat. But the customizing of this is what makes this so special. If you go onto their website, they have all different color schemes. And when they ship this, they stick all kinds of decals and they mail it to you so you could customize the look of it completely. So that's the nice thing about this. It does, of course, have good range. It gets up to 31 miles an hour with just throttle. So that's nice as well. Let's see what's next. All right, next up on the list is the Van Powers City Venture. Now, what makes this unique? It doesn't even look like an e-bike. It looks like a regular bike. So it's got some cool features here. Obviously, it has the look of being a regular bike, not an e-bike, so nobody's gonna know. On top of that, incredibly quiet. Why? Because it has a carbon drive belt rather than a normal chain, so you don't even hear anything going down the road. So really, really quiet. Doesn't look anything like an e-bike. Definitely makes my list. All right, next up on the list, we have a Hauchi bike. This is the Hauchi Cheetah. This is one of my favorite brand e-bikes that I review, and I've reviewed quite a few on this channel. And one of the reasons I like this is it does have a dual battery. So you have a battery here, but you also have a battery underneath the frame. That's gonna just double your range. It's also gonna increase your torque to your motor. And this is one of the fastest e-bikes out there for single rear hub motors. It also has a very large back rack. So this is a very popular design. It's got big 26 inch tires, four inches wide knobby tire so you can go on road or off road it also has this full suspension system up front here as well as a swing arm so you don't feel those bumps going off road so this is a great on or off road e-bike with very long range all right next up we have a dyu c2 smart city bike what makes this so nice is it's a foldable e-bike that gets incredibly small so if you do live in the city you're going to be hauling them up downstairs being able to fold this down really small is very, very convenient. Has some pretty good range and pretty good speed as well, and a back rack, which you don't normally see on these smaller style foldable e-bikes. Again, this is designed really for city. It doesn't have a lot of grit on your tires, but it is a little bit wider. So if you have to go along the beach, maybe you go into the sand, this would work really well with that as well. People are loving the small e-bikes because you can fold them down and stick them in regular size vehicle trunks. Don't have to have a truck. You don't have to have an SUV when you have something like this. Next up is the Eohora Romeo Pro. Now this is for those adventurous types because it goes really, really fast. This is a full suspension e-bike. It even has a big suspension under the seat right here. Um, of course, right here, this huge thing is a suspension. But guys, this goes up to 34 miles an hour. Um, I got it up to 31, 32 going uphill at my weight. So that's pretty impressive for a single motor e-bike now they also have a dual motor version so make sure you check out the link in the description if you want to look at both of the specs for both of them versus cost you save a little bit of money going with one motor but sometimes it's nice to have that double motor as well um, but this has a really big comfortable seat you could probably fit two people on here this is really designed like i said to go off-road because it does have these huge knobby tires really big headlight also allows you to ride it at night very popular again this is the eohora romeo pro 
All right, next up we have the Denagio folding e-bike. Again, this is another one of those popular folding e-bikes that uses a very high-end component, so you're going to have an e-bike that lasts. It also folds very small. It's got a little bit smaller tires than some of the other ones, three inches wide and 20 inches around. It does have a wood plank back rack, which is a nice upgrade. I can see this as a great option for somebody that maybe wants to ride down the boardwalk in style, wants a reliable e-bike, one that holds a charge for a long, long time and this one definitely qualifies for that. I've taken this on Bike Pass and it always gets people watching because they really like this style e-bike. Plus it's really easy to get on and off. As you can see, it's a very low step. So if you are height challenged, this is really nice. Again, adjustable neck, adjustable seat. Any size rider could ride this comfortably. All right, next up on the list, we've got the Sonata Fat Tire e-bike. Now this has got one of those really big tires here. So this would be good on-road or off-road. It's got knobby tires, so it'll have good traction even in the sand, gravel, stuff like that. What sets this one apart, it's very high-end components. The battery's really nice too, because it actually comes out the side, because as you can see, you've got a little bar here. But what really sets it apart, guys, is this back rack. This is a very nice long back rack. You could put two child seats back here because it is so long. Something to keep in mind though, when you have a long back rack and I have a bad knee, so for me, I can't really get my leg around it, so I kind of have to step over this way. If you're taller, no big deal, but I'm about six feet taller than that or don't have a bad knee, this is probably a great e-bike. And this is one of the most sought after brands right now in e-bikes. Sonata has been making e-bikes for a very long time. They're known for their high quality e-bikes and it always makes my top lists. And mainly it's because of all the high-end components, guys. They use the best batteries, they use the best motors, they use the best brand tires. That's what it's all about, and you pay for it because this is a little bit more expensive. Again, this is the Sonata e-bike. Next up on the list is the Angway Pro 2.0. What sets this one apart, it is a foldable design, which again, is very popular because you can fold these up, stick them in large sedans, SUVs, things like that. But this one here takes it a step further. It has a full suspension, which you just don't see on foldable e-bikes. You got the front unlockable and lockable suspension. You've got a swing arm suspension with a mono shock. It has adjustable neck and an adjustable seat and a really nice back rack. I love, love that back rack. The pedals even fold in when you fold it up. It's got nice grips as well. A lot of upgrades on this one. Full color display as well. So basically what they're doing is they're taking a traditional e-bike design and they're just making it better. They basically put it on steroids. This e-bike is very popular right now and they're selling out. So if it's not available when you click the link down in the description, I apologize. Again, this brand goes through them very, very fast. It's one of the most popular brand of e-bikes today. And again, it is Angway. All right, guys, here it is. I saved the best for last. This is the Antioche A8 dual motor e-bike. Now, I've actually reviewed their single motor version on this channel, absolutely loved it, but then they came out with the dual motor. I had to get it, guys. So it's got a rear hub motor, it's got a front hub motor. What's that gonna do? That's gonna get you up to 3,500 watts of peak power. It's gonna get you 45 miles an hour and still maintain that 200 plus mile range that they are known for. That can get me to neighboring states on a single charge, which is absolutely insane. They also upgraded the display, so it's a really big, bright display. A much more comfortable seat than before. Originally, they had a seat that was very similar in style, but they upgraded the seat to an adjustable seat, which is nice, but also um, they made it softer. It's really cushy seat because they know people are using these for those 200 mile runs. And so having a nice seat, super important. Also has a built into the frame back rack. So you could put a big basket back there. You could stick an extra seat back there if you wanted to. It can handle a lot of weight. It has turn signals, horns, bright lights, low lights, super bright light up here as you can see. Guys, Antioche A8 dual motor is my favorite of all of them, but that's this year. Who knows what's coming out next year? I'll make sure to do another video, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. Comment what you think the best of these 10 are, what the most sought after in your mind of these 10 e-bikes that I covered today. And if you know of another one, let me know. I'll get it if I don't already have it. I had about 200 e-bikes to choose from, and I chose these 10 as the newest most sought after based on sales and based on comments from you. So make sure you comment, let me know which one you like the best. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again, bye.